Hello everybody, this is Walter, CEO of World Cebu, and in this small video I want to show you what is Forma, what are the main features, how is this unique and different from a blockchain as a service, but more importantly how you can use it to create, operate and govern a blockchain network. This is Forma's homepage. The first concept that you need to know are organizations. In this case, my organization is called World Cebu. But an organization is actually a representation of a company or, as the name states, an organization. So you can be the administrator of multiple organizations. So for, imagine, for example, imagine that you have multiple customers and they give you access to do transactions on behalf of them. So you can simply ask them to add you and then you will be able to change between organizations and approve transactions and proposals when are needed. Within your organization, you can have multiple clusters. A cluster is actually the configuration to connect with the remote infrastructure. With Forma, you don't need to give all the infrastructure control to just one company, like a cloud provider. In this case, I have three clusters, two in Google and one in Amazon. The one in Amazon, I kill it before uh, starting this tutorial. So in this case, as you can see, Forma will talk to the cluster and find out if it is available to deploy. These clusters have to be created beforehand in your own account. Again, Forma won't centralize the infrastructure. You will have to create it. And in this case, if you create a network with multiple members, every member will need to have a cluster configuration. Everybody may be pointing at the same cluster as at first, but logically, those are actually separated. And therefore, in the future, everybody will be able to manage their own infrastructure independently. If you want to create a new cluster, you can go to new, you can add the name, you can select the cloud provider that you want to use. As you can see, we support every major cloud provider. You provide the credentials, which are basically the ways that Forma can authenticate with that Kubernetes cluster. The connection certificate content, which will allow you to secure all the communications. Once you are ready, we can go back to the home and proceed to create a new network. To create a network from your homepage, you need to go to new network. You have to set up the name. Let's say in this case, we want to call this DevNet. You select the blockchain technology that you want to use. In this case, we already fully support Hyperledger Fabric 1.4 and we're pretty close to su providing support to Corda as well. You then need to define where you want your infrastructure to run. If this is your first time using Forma, you probably want World Cebu to manage all the clusters for you. Usually companies start with this kind of infrastructure for development purposes or for integration or QA environments. So in this case, if you select fully managed by World Cebu, we will provide all the servers, all the networks and storage. But if you want to create an actual blockchain network with actual customers and actual members, you will prefer to select multi-cloud network in your own infrastructure. So in this case, you will be able to select the cluster from the previous configurations that we saw to decide where you want this to be deployed. Once you select the cluster, you need to connect with multiple or with just at least one organization. In this case, I have two in here. These organizations are kind of like directories, like you have friends in LinkedIn. You also have organizations that you have in your directory. This means that the other organization approved to be connected with you so that you can propose things. In this case, for example, creating a new blockchain network. Forma works based in a consensus. So in this case, I am proposing to create a new blockchain network. Therefore, this other organization just received an email asking them to provide approval for the proposal. And once they approve this blockchain network creation, they will have to say 
what is the cluster in which they want their blockchain components to be deployed. Since this is just a demo, I don't want to create a new blockchain network, but I have one that I already created that is in here, and it is called DevNet. So, if I go to my nodes environment, I will be able to see all the details about all the components that are running in my cluster. So as you can see, I can only see one of each. This is because I am seeing my environment. I have no access to the cluster of the other members of the blockchain network. This allows for maximum securities, security between the participants. If we go back to the home, and you see the details of this network that is called DevNet, you will see in here all the members that are already in the network. As you can see, it's a network of two participants. You can also see all the ledgers. For Hyperledger Fabric, those are channels. So by default, you have this channel that is called public, which means that every organization in the network will have access to it. And you can also have multiple other channels. So for example, if I go in here, and I propose a new channel, I can, for example, create one that is going to be called CH4. I set a message, let's say this is for private transactions. I decide who, want, who do I want to join me in this channel. So in this case, we only have two organizations, but if you had, for example, 10, you may create a new channel with only two of those organizations. Once you select who you want them to, to join you, a new transaction, a new proposal will be created and another member of the network will need to approve this before this can be deployed. Once a transaction is, is approved by all the members, everything in the, deployment process, in the deployment process goes automatically. This means that after 10 members approved to create a new channel, just one click will trigger all the tasks. If tomorrow you want to add or remove organizations, you can simply go to the list and you can propose to add a new organization. So for example, in here I want to say, I want to include this other company in my network. I will send the proposal and the existing members of the network and the new ones will need to approve. So for example, in this case, to approve, to, to add this organization, you will need the approval of these two organizations. Let's go back to the network and explore what are the ledgers. So if I go to this one, I will see all the companies that are in this channel, but also I can see the smart contracts that have been installed. To install a new smart contract, you simply need to go to new, set the name of the smart contract, upload the code as a zip, you don't, need, you don't need to manually sign the code. We will take care of that automatically with Forma. You select the programming language, you select the version, and you're good to go. This will create a proposal that needs to be approved by the members of the channel. And once everything is ready, you will see your smart contract like this one that I have in here. If I go to the details, I can even see every upgrade that has been applied to the source code. This means that if I want to add a new version, for example, with a bug fix, I can go to upgrade. I can decide whether or not this is a major version. I upload the code and I send the proposal. And once this is approved, I will see a new, registra a new registry in here telling about what this new version is. Everything that you just saw in this demo can be also applied and used through the API. Forma is what it's called API first. This means that every transaction that I create in here, like creating a new network, adding a new member, installing a smart contract, can, on, can also be applied through the API. To use the API, I can go to my profile, I, go, I can go to the API keys, I can copy this one and head to this open API specification. In this case, I just need to authorize this client and I will be able to do any task that you saw in the interface before. This means that through this API, you can, for example, come in here and see what are all your networks.
or in more advanced cases, you can even do continuous integration and continuous deployment scripts in which you can create a new network, install a smart contract automatically through the API, make some tests and maybe destroy the network afterwards. This also allows you to create a new user interface on top of Forma that, so that your logo is the actual interface that the other members of the network will see. So you can seamlessly integrate managing the infrastructure of your blockchain network into another application. This is it for this video. I hope that you were able to understand how Forma is unique, what you get when you sign up in, into it, and how you can play with the governance model and be pretty flexible. You may probably start with a build operate transfer, which means that you will create a blockchain network, operate this maybe for a few years, but then eventually you are sure that you will be able to take the infrastructure and give the control to the other participants of your blockchain network. So if you're interested, we're really looking forward to getting to know your use case. So in the links in the video, in the description, you can find all the coordinates to get to communicate with us, or you can even go directly to create a trial. Thank you.